In this video, we're going to take a look at high clouds. And high clouds fall into one of three categories. These are cirrus, cirrostratus, or cirrocumulus. We'll begin by looking at cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds are high clouds in the atmosphere. They're normally formed by ice crystals. They appear as filaments of cloud high up in the sky. Generally they occur above about 18,000 feet. Cirrus on its own can bring fine weather and indicates that the fine weather is likely to continue. However, you should watch the cirrus carefully because if it increases and starts to lower, and turns into cirrus stratus cloud, it may indicate that a warm front is on the way, especially if you've had a day of clear blue skies and then cirrus cloud starts to appear on the horizon. Cirrus cloud can also be indicative of the jet stream being overhead. In this picture, the cloud is streaking in line with the jet stream cloud. The jet stream are winds at high levels in the atmosphere, and we'll look at these in a different video. Cirrus may also indicate that showers are going to become more scattered. In this example, cirrus has risen above cumulus cloud. The reason is that the cirrus is associated with warm air advancing ahead of a warm front. Therefore, the cumulus cloud cannot climb as high into the atmosphere, and it becomes much shallower in depth. Therefore, the showers gradually die away. Now, let's take a look at cirrus stratus cloud. and cirrostratus cloud is often quite featureless. Generally the cloud is broken and we get the sunshine coming through the cloud although we may notice that it becomes more coherent as a warm front approaches. The cloud generally occurs above about 16,000 feet. It may be associated with a warm front especially if it's thickened from cirrus cloud. Another clue to it being associated with a warm front is if a halo forms. This is where the sun's light is diffracted through the ice crystals that make up the cirrus stratus cloud. Cirrus stratus can also appear to be quite disorganised, as in this example. This cirrus stratus cloud indicates that there isn't going to be much change in conditions. Finally, let's take a look at cirrocumulus cloud. Cirrocumulus cloud is quite an elusive cloud. It's lumpy in nature and is generally well broken. It occurs above about 18,000 feet. It indicates instability and can sometimes be the harbinger to thunderstorms and showers, very often after a period of fine, dry, warm summer's weather. It may indicate that there are thunderstorms on the way, especially if altocumulus is present and especially if that altocumulus turns into altocumulus castellanus. That completes our look at high level clouds. As a reminder, those high level clouds were cirrus, cirrostratus, and cirrocumulus. Thank you for watching weatherweb.tv.